Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video I am going to show you how to use KeePass for Password Manager. Alright, so now here we are in the website of KeePass and you can go here by typing in keepass.info and then you will be prompted right here. So as you can see, the website is really outdated right here and that is its main downside for me but I think KeePass is very secure because it's very transparent with its results and whatsoever right here. And yeah, this is not a very user-friendly um, password manager for you. This might be a little complicated if you're not yet, if you're not that good with the techie stuff. But I think KeePass would provide you a good security if you can handle or maybe you can learn how to use it. So now let's get started by downloading KeePass. So to do that, we, see, we can already see it right here, right away when we go into this website, right here. But we'll be going here in the downloads, click here. And then from here, we can see the versions right here. And by the way, if you want to use KeePass for Android, we have some unofficial uh, apps right here. Take note, this is unofficial right here. KeePass doesn't really support the Android with official ones. So the only thing that we have is for the desktop ones, which is this one's right here. So yeah, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click here on download. But if you want to use the other versions, then you can also do that. But remember that it's unofficial. So click on download now. And then just as easy as that, now we can go here and our download will start shortly right here. So let's get and download KeePass. And then as you can see, I have now downloaded this right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply open this right there. So I'm opening it and I'm gonna press on yes and then right here. So I'm gonna click on okay. And then the next thing is this one, I accept the agreement and then I'm gonna install it to wherever I want it in my local storage or depending on what you want, click on next. And then I suggest that I'm installing all of this and click next and then next again, next install right there. And then after that, it would now be installed into our device right here. So click on finish and let's launch KeePass. And now this is the first thing that we'll see once you install KeePass and let's go for enable right here so that our app will always be uh, up to date. Click on enable. And now we have KeePass right here. And yeah, as you can see, it is empty, but what we need to create our first database is that we're going to go here in file, click on file and click on new right here. And then a new database uh, pop up would appear right here. So we'll just click on OK. And after that, we're going to name our database and uh, locate it into wherever you would want it to be saved. So in my case, I'll just name this as a sample sample database just like that and hit on save and now it would ask us to create a master key and be very careful with your master key make sure that you can remember it because once you lose your master key you would not be able to uh, open your database anymore right here on keypass so let's just type our master password right here so let's just go for uh, uh just uh just like this one Maybe just like that. And then I'm gonna repeat it again. And then there you go. And then as you can see, you can see the bits right here and so on. And once you're satisfied with your password, once you have made sure that it is secure, then you can click on okay. And as you can see, it is weak. And are you sure that you want to use this master password? For me, it's fine since, since this is just a tutorial. But in your case, make sure that you have a strong password for additional security. So I'm just gonna click on yes. And after that, we're going to name our database. So let's just go for sample, just like that. And then you can also go to the security tab. And then from here, you can see the encryption system. So you can change this. You can go for Chacha 20. I think this one is more updated. So you can go for this one, or maybe you can just go for that, depending on what you need or what you want. You can research more about that if you want to know which one would suit you best. And then you have your key derivation and so on. You also have your compression, your recycle bin, advanced, and so on right here. If you want to um, modify your settings, you can do it right there. And then we're going to click OK right here since we're done. And then right here in the emergency sheet, you can just print this out if you want to. So if you're a beginner, I suggest that you print this out so that you would have a good physical reminder of your master password in KeePass. 
But in our case, let's just keep this right here. And one thing that I don't like about that is that it doesn't have the option to save as a PDF or save it digitally right here. So the only thing that you can do is that you must type your own master password right away. You can just save it to wherever you want here in your software or in, in the digital space. So right here, as you can see right here, we now have a sample right here, which is a sample entry right here for the username, password, and so on. And to add something right here, to add a password, all you have to do is simply type or click on right click right here and click on add entry. And from here, you can um, make the title of the password or the info that you want to save. So let's say a sample info. And let's say it's uh, sample info at gmail.com, just like that. And then you want to type the password sample info just for an example. And you can click on this button if you want to view it in text right there. And you can also do that right here. So as you can see, we now have that. And then you can also have the notes. So in case you would want to leave something right here, maybe something that you would like to remember when you open this information right here, then you can type it right here in the notes. And you can provide a URL right here on which website or which uh, website this information can be used. And click on OK once you're done. And then as you can see right there on KeePass, you now have successfully uh, created a entry right here. So yeah, the interface of KeePass is pretty basic right here, but it's not really uh, beginner friendly or user friendly right now because right now we have so much better uh, password managers with better UIs right here. But what's good about KeePass is its security. With KeePass, you can get the best free password manager security that you can have in any password manager out there. So KeePass has that. And then what's also neat about KeePass and what is also bad it's like a double-edged sword is that the plugins that you can go for KeePass. So right here, when you go back into KeePass.info, and then from here, we're just going to go click here on the plugins. And then from here, we have the plugins for KeePass. So we have a lot right here. So you can import them into your KeePass right here as a feature. So yeah, you have a lot right here. So you can just choose which of them right here. The only downside of this is that it's too tiring and it's too inconvenient for the user to use KeePass because it, we have to manually add them to our KeePass. But yeah, we all we, we already have everything right here that you need. You have your uh, browser importer, which is very important, and your two-factor QR code. I suggest that you use this for additional security and so on right here on KeePass. And that is pretty much it for the beginner tutorial on the basics on how you can use KeePass right here on your Windows PC. Thank you for watching.